We at Friends of GRI would like to welcome you to our Victor tour of one of Glasgow's institutions, Glasgow Royal Infirmary. We are proud to work in a building so steeped in history. The purpose for building the infirmary in the 1790s was as follows. That an infirmary for the relief of indigent persons labouring under poverty and disease has long been wanted in the city of Glasgow and in adjoining counties of Scotland and it has become more necessary at present than at any former period on account of the prosperous state of manufacturers in Glasgow and its neighbourhoods and the increased population of those classes of manufacture and labours of every kind who are most likely to require charitable assistance. Opened in 1794, the original Adams building was roughly where the medical block stands today. This was added to over the years with a new wing in 1816 a fever house between 1826 and 1832, and a surgical block in 1861, where Joseph Lister pioneered his antiseptic surgery. Other pioneer surgeons worked there, including Sir William McEwen, J. Hogarth Pringle, and Sir Hector Clare Cameron. We're going to look at the current old building. Designed by James Miller and completed in 1914, the iconic building you see today was constructed concurrently with the demolition of the Adams building and the other older buildings, although the surgical block was not demolished until 1926, following protestations to save the historic Lister wards. These protests were sadly and ultimately unsuccessful. A lecture theatre was dedicated to Lister and was built in its place and opened in 1928. This current building is one of the oldest working hospital buildings in the UK. This building itself has been added to several times over the years. The Royal Infirmary houses around 1,000 inpatients with a variety of specialties and is currently ranked in the top 20 hospitals in the UK, top in Scotland, according to Newsweek. We're now going to move to the Queen Elizabeth building. Designed by Sir Basil Spence in a modular fashion, Phase 1 started construction in 1974 and was officially opened and named in 1983. This was an ambitious project and involved construction of inpatient wards, short stay wards, outpatients, a university building, a laboratory building and an accommodation building. The largest building is known as the Queen Elizabeth Building, named officially in 1986, and the other three buildings are named after famous Glasgow Royal Infirmary staff. Lord Lister, Sir William McEwen, and Sir David Cuthbertson, respectively. We're now going to look at the foundation stones. The original foundation stone is in the basement of the medical block. Removed from the Adams building during demolition, inspected and replaced in the basement of the James Miller building. The foundation stone contains objects from Glasgow life in the 1790s, including historical documents relating to the infirmary and Glasgow life, coins, newspapers and muslin, the manufacture of which was a major industry in and around Glasgow at the time. The next foundation stone is in the new building, which is in the Gatehouse Building reception office. This foundation stone was originally on the outside wall of the north part of the Gatehouse Building and wasn't covered in until much later. It also contains objects from Glasgow life at the time and some of the pieces from the original foundation stone. It was laid by the then Prince of Wales, who would become George V three years later. He also officially opened the James Miller building in honour of his grandmother, Queen Victoria. We're now going to move to the David Livingston room. This was a former operating theatre. It was recommissioned as a small lecture theatre and meeting room, named after the world famous missionary doctor who studied medicine in Glasgow. This has been refurbished in the last few years. The operating theatres were situated in this part of the building because of the north-facing aspect to help with consistent lighting. None of the old theatres are used still for operations, but they are still in use today for a variety of purposes. There are a few memorials for Lister around the Royal Infirmary. Um, we're going to see a couple of them now, one in the Quadrangle Car Park and one at the Gatehouse Building. Consultant's Dining Room. Hidden away on the 7th and 8th floors of the centre block is an amazing space that once housed the medical staff dining room. There are some remnants still to be seen, although they're not in use today. 
We'll now move on to the chapel, which is tucked in behind the centre and surgical blocks. It offers a space of quiet contemplation for patients, staff and visitors alike. There are several stained glass windows of people from the Bible, such as Dorcas, whom the society is named after, and others, including Florence Nightingale. We'll move on to the roof and view. At the very top of the building, you get amazing views over the city and beyond. Matron's flat was moved from the Walton building to the Jubilee block when it opened. It was refurbished in the 1990s and was used for meetings during this time. Unfortunately, this is also currently out of use. As a recently established charity, we have taken on some projects and worked collaboratively with other organisations. All projects are with the same aim, to promote Glasgow Royal Infirmary, its history and heritage. As we are still living through the pandemic, we thought it would be important to support and work on projects to help improve the well-being of all involved in Glasgow Royal Infirmary. With the help and support of Glasgow and District Beekeeping Association, we now have two beehives at Glasgow Royal Infirmary that are looked after by beekeepers Scott Craig and Mike Duncan, who are both members of the Glasgow and District Beekeepers Association. We're now going to move around some green spaces in the Royal Infirmary, starting with Centre Block at the Ramp Entrance. The Friends of Glasgow Botanic Gardens have helped spruce up the entrances to the Royal with the provision of plants and bulbs, along with donations from green-fingered GRI staff. This helps cheer up staff, patients and visitors, as well as providing flowers for our honeybees. We're now moving to the new Lister entrance. In collaboration with Scottish Power, a team of staff members have given up their free time to enhance the entrance at Alexandra Parade. There are other projects that Scottish Power have been involved with, including supporting a new seating area and a proposed roof garden. There's also another green space where the old Lister building was, some of which has been relocated to the new Lister building on site. There have been trees planted on the green space and there is further scope for other ways to populate it. The Friends of Glasgow Royal Infirm New Museum is currently under construction. Please look out for progress on our website and Twitter. Thanks for watching our presentation. We look forward to welcoming you to our new museum space soon.